Yeah, good. Yeah. Oof. Thought for the day, people are crazy. Hey, I'm Paul McGuire. Welcome to the countdown. We begin this week with something new from Kira Isabella. Hey, Kira's back on the chart. It is called Little Girl, and it starts us off at number 20. If they go low, you go high. Don't ever let them make you feel little girl. One number away from Luke Combs is down six positions this week to number 19. Not coming back, might be the whiskey or the midnight rain. But everywhere I go, I see your face. In my brain, dialing up everything I want to say. But I'm still one number away. Kane Brown's Heaven drops three spots to 18. Lying next to you, in this bed with you. And for the first time, from Darius Rucker, drops eight spots to 17. Darius Rucker, for the first time, sliding down eight positions to 17 this week. Thomas Rhett's latest album, Life Changes, came out in September, not even 10 months ago, and I am led to believe that he is already working on new music. The first three singles released from Life Changes, Craving You, Unforgettable, and Marry Me were all number one hits in the US and here in Canada. And now, album single number four has entered the top 20. And it is the title track, Life Changes, makes its chart debut at number 16. You make your plans and you hear God laugh and life changes. And I wouldn't change it for The Bad Guy, the second single for Megan Patrick's album Country Music Made Me Do It, moves up three positions to number 15. Those Were the Nights from Hunter Brothers is up five spots to 14. Cry Pretty from Carrie Underwood is down two positions to 13. Getting a boost from the Friday release of their self-titled album Dan and Shay's Tequila is up five positions to number 12 this week. And The Road from Emerson Drive is also up five positions to number 11. Emerson Drive, The Road, up five spots to number 11 this week. All right, 10 down, 10 to go. It's halftime, which means it's time to head to Hollywood for Zach Selwyn's One Minute Music Minute. He usually goes over. It's the One Minute Music Minute. Hey, welcome to the One Minute Music Minute, live from my friend's kitchen. It's summer, which means my kids are out of school and I can barely get anything done. I love Pop-Tarts. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Miranda Lambert posted a picture of her and her horse on Instagram and noted all the amazing things a ride can bring you, like strength, kindness, sensitivity, beauty, fire, power, and happiness. She left out a vascular necrosis of the femoral head, bursitis, rotator cuff tears, and vagina hurtalatus. Jake Owen posted a picture of him icing good friend Luke Combs. Now, icing is when you hide a Smirnoff ice from a buddy, and when he finds it, he has to pound it. Icing, really soft. When I was younger, I got Zemud, I got Bartles and Jamesed, and I got Skittles vodka. All right, you wanna talk about tasting the vomit rainbow? Drink three of those. 
Canadian country singer Gord Bamford may have had the biggest breakthrough in his American career when his new single, Dive Bar, had over one million streams when it was released last week. This could be just what Gord needs to finally break through in America and become the star everyone knows he can be. What's that? Post Malone had 750 million last week? 750 million streams. <clears throat> yeah, sorry Gord, maybe get some facial tats or something. That's it for the One Minute Music Minute. My name is Zach Selwyn. Hey guys, only four more hours of video games, okay? It's the one minute musical minute. -bop -doo 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 -doo. Thank you, Zach. Follow Zach on Twitter at Zach Selwyn. Back to the chart and into the top 10 we go with Paul Brandt. All About Her drops two spots to number 10 this week. Paul Brandt, All About Her, down two spots to number 10. Tim Hicks' fourth album, New Tattoo, came out on Friday. He dropped by Olay's Red Arc Studio in Toronto this week to tell me all about it. As we sit here right now, you're number nine, mm -hmm. I believe, uh, this week. Nice. And um, I was wondering, with a guy like you, who's developed a really, really strong fan base, who had a mm -hmm. fan base before he had a record deal, mm -hmm. um, but obviously it's a lot broader now. Yeah. As a guy that's sold as well as you have mm -hmm. in an era where people don't buy as much as they used yeah. to, um, do you need a radio hit? Or could you be that guy <clears throat> that as doesn't... you age, yeah. as you mature... Um, and uh, 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 gracefully, by yeah, the way. Right. No, no, yeah. no, really, though. You know, fight the fight of the videos and the da-da-da and all of yeah. that stuff. Can you be just a guy that releases records every... I'm not saying you're going to be this yeah. guy. I'm just wondering if that's yeah. possible in this day and age for a person to release a record every couple of years mm -hmm. that's solid, you know, that's, that's crafted with care, mm -hmm. and not worry about the radio. That's the goal. Yeah, that's right? the yeah. for me. I mean, if, uh, you know, trying to follow in the footsteps of bands like Blue Rodeo that yeah. can tour until they decide they don't want to tour anymore. And I mean, that's where it starts and ends with me is the show. Right. That's a great example, actually. Of Blue yeah. Rodeo. Yep. So yep. you know, they, they put out a record, whether fans like it or not, or buy it or not, it doesn't matter. Yep. They still get to go out and tour across our beautiful country, playing music, making a living doing that. That's always been the goal. What radio does, though, is it keeps you relevant. Yeah. Um, and you know, I think that over time being relevant, the value of that will change for me. Um, you know, as, like you say, as you get older, like I joke now, you know, here I am, uh, not that I, I'm not 40 yet, but I'm, <laughs> I'm knocking on the door at 40. I'm up in my tight jeans singing hell raising good time. <laughs> How long can I do that? I don't know. Ask Mick Jagger. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it, the, in this day and age, it's possible to keep it going as long as the passion's there and as long as your fan base is there. And so I just hope that people are willing to come along for the ride. I just think there's something kind of like elegant about it, you know, where you can exhale and it, the chase isn't the same. Yeah. And that's that only comes with the success and the hard work Absolutely. that you put in. Absolutely. I want that. I want that to be able to yeah. have that exhale. But I think what keeps the drive going is that, like I said, you're only as good as your last song. And yeah. so th it's that, that uh, tension that keeps the well, that's, ship that's upright. That's the healthy right? stuff, right? I, I think so. I, I get the sense that you're... I don't, I don't feel like you're holding on too tight. No, I, and that's the thing. So yeah. I try not to take the whole thing too seriously, <laughs> yeah. which is why I'm happy to talk to people in the produce section at Zares when I'm shopping. Like, it really doesn't bother me, and I, I'm I'm just pleased to, to be able to get to do what I do. Because, as you know, this is all I've ever done. Yeah. So to get to do it at the national level yeah. is a blessing. So why not enjoy it, you know? Tim Hicks Loud moves up one position to number nine this week. Town crowd, Woman Amen from Dirks Bentley drops four spots to number eight. Chris Lane's Take Back Home Girl featuring Tori Kelly moves up five spots to number seven. Long Live the Night from the Rec Laws is in at number six for a second week in a row.
Keith Urban's Coming Home, featuring Julia Michaels, moves up two positions to number five. Last week's number one track, Morgan Wallen's Up Down, featuring FGL, is down three positions to number four. The rest can turn this parking lot into a party with a nice chest and some cold beer, man. We live it up, down, up, down. We live it up, down. Dallas Smith's One Drink Ago, featuring Terry Clark, is up two spots to number three. Oh, it's 3 a.m. Just the two of us standing here wondering how we'll ever live without what we didn't know. One drink ago. And Jake Owens, I was Jack, you were Diane, featuring, well, well, no one, oh my goodness, is also up one position this week. It's in at number two. Do you close your eyes? Does it make you laugh? Do the memories take you back? To six packs in a Chevy Cheyenne, way back when I was Jack and you were Diane. Would you look at that, a country artist doing a song that doesn't feature another artist. Well, I suppose he's getting a helping hand from one John Cougar. Or was he just John Mellon? No, maybe it's just John Cougar back then. I was Jack, you were Diane, Jake Owen. Up one position to number two. Sorry about that. And that brings us to Kenny Chesney. His 17th album, Songs for the Saints, comes out July 27th. Kenny is donating all proceeds from Songs for the Saints to his nonprofit Love for Love City Foundation, which continues to provide direct relief to the U.S. and British Virgin Islands in the aftermath of Hurricane Irma. Kenny Chesney's Get Along, the leadoff single from that upcoming album, is the number one song in the country. We try to get along while we can't always give love the upper hand. Paint a walk, learn to dance, call your mom, buy a boat, drink a beer, sing a song, make a friend. Can't we all get along? Kenny Chesney, Get Along, that song moving up one position to claim the number one spot in Canada. All right, that's a wrap. Thanks to Tim Hicks for his time. Thanks to you for yours. Subscribe to Olay TV and never miss a thing. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at the Paul McGuire. Dauphin, Manitoba, here I come. See you next time. Hey, I'm Paul McGuire. Thanks for tuning in. Click here. Here? here. I'm not a weatherman. Whatever. Click here to subscribe. Somewhere here to subscribe for more from Olay TV. And if you would be so kind, please like and share this video.